What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching another video. Uh, today, I am uh, cleaning up the shop a little bit and I'm gonna start working on the front end of the second gen. So, uh, what that will entail is uh, cleaning up all this mess underneath of it, moving it, organizing it. Uh, the rear end is no, in by no means done, but it is uh, done enough for now that I can actually uh, move it and we'll get it flipped around that way I can start figuring out my uh, my angles on the front end so on and so forth start uh starting but my, my goal is to get the truck spun around so it's easier to work on the front end and uh, then I can start unbolting stuff and you know figuring out my my angles and stuff that I want and uh, we'll go from there so I'm gonna start cleaning this this up and then uh, we'll see what the day holds Okay, so I've been kind of scurrying my way around the truck and kind of laying next to it, eyeballing it, looking at it, seeing what I want to do. Um, so let's see. This, eh, yeah, this, this would be about right height. So let me see what this is. Got my tape measure out here. So from top of the axle to top of the bucket is 20 inches ish. So as long as we give that our, it might be a little high up here. As long as we give that our center line, I think we should be okay on, you know, travel on our bag. Like I said, this, this truck, I'm not going to, it's not made to be lifted way up, drop way down. It's just going to be a ride truck. So that's the only you know i'm not worried about all that so we get it to a you know a semi semi good ride height where it can it'll sit good it has some travel to it that's all i'm really worried about so what i'm going to do is i think i want to try to get everything unbolted uh take all the uh, make prep leave that on for now but undo um everything from the pitman arm undo the, the control arms, the drive shaft, and the uh, track bar, get all that off, pull the axle out from underneath, and I'm gonna, cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna cut all this, this off, and start from scratch here. This, this is gonna stay, I'm gonna make an adapter that'll come down about three inches, that'll adapt for our airbag to sit in here, but everything here is gonna come off, and then I'm gonna do, I think what I wanna do is a radius arm, so the radius arm will be you know one long bar on the bottom and or top this case i'm going to run probably about a th three foot plus himes so maybe three 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 to five you know foot bar from axle to frame and then i'm going to tee off the uh the lower bar and come up to the top mount here so the axle can't it can't wrap but yet it still uh, gives you some clearance as far as travel here because uh you know, you're, you're, we're running it on the bottom of the frame. Well, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'll run on the outside of the frame. Okay, so camera battery died, but I don't know where, uh, anyway, I lost track of thought. But anyway, radius arm, uh, I'm going to get all this off, get the axle pulled out so that I can start cleaning all this off. Uh, I am going to run a, um, 
most of the front end is going to be put together with uh, rough stuff specialty parts. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use hind joints on the front as opposed to uh, what I will use on the rear um, because this is more or less a pro test project in a sense. So anyway, I just want to see what I, what I like better, but I'm going to get their uh, they they sell a steering kit. So it comes with you know himes and misalignment spacers for uh, this side and the other side, plus your uh, your uh, steering rod coming off your pitman arm. So they sell all that, and that's what I'm going to get for this. And I'm going to get rid. Of, I'm going to get rid of everything. We'll probably we'll probably wind up putting the stock one back on. We have to get new stuff for it, but we'll we'll fabricate that whenever it comes to it. But like I said, I think I'm just going to worry about unhooking everything from the axle and getting the axle pulled out and then I can uh, I can go from there so let's uh, let's just start uh, start turning wrenches Just saw me yank the axle out from underneath the truck. Um, hang on a second. So, yeah. So before I start hacking anything, I'm gonna go ahead and get some measurements. Um, obviously, you see the the bucket is a little bit off center from the axle, so you gotta take that into consideration when I put these on. Um, and I haven't decided yet, but I think that. I think that I'm going to order, um, like, not a kit. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm not going to order a kit. <clears throat> but I'm going to order some brackets, so it just kind of makes it easier on myself trying to, instead of having to make everything, you know, have everything just right. I don't have a plasma, uh, plasma table or anything. It's just me cutting it by hand. So I'm going to order some stuff. Um, so I might halt videos on this for a little bit. Um, but there's other stuff we can be doing so obviously stay tuned for that but uh, real quick um, this truck obviously is, is a vacuum actuator on the axle um, a friend of mine told me that I can get a solid axle from from yoke to pinion or ring gear or whatever the heck it is um, if you know anything about that or if you know where to find one if you could uh leave a uh you know let me know in the comments below or whatever uh i'm gonna try to find that because i'm going to put uh locking hubs on on here when i'm all when it's all said and done so that way 
I don't have to worry about the vacuum pump not working right because they I've only used it once and it worked then but it's just like I don't want to have to hassle with it so I want to do away with that so if you guys know anything let me know but other than that going forward though we're going to uh, obviously like I was saying before cut all this off and then we'll get our we'll get our braces around everything but anyway all this uh, messy gunk on here for my for my truck it's great <clears throat> but anyhow I'm gonna clean up here so anyway that's gonna wrap up this video uh, just want to say thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one